Hello everybody, Proto Foxy here coming back at you with another video. We are once again taking a look at Transformers here. And uh, today on the t on the counter here, I've got Transformers Cyberverse Warrior Class Wingblade. Now here we here we are. We have her in jet mode and um, for the Warrior Class toys in the uh, R.A.D. or not R.A.D. Uh, Cyberverse line, were you know done a bit more basic. They weren't like your uh, regular deluxes for the other lines and such like that. These are definitely more geared towards uh, kind of the younger audience. The reason why I ended up picking up Wingblade here is because I didn't have a mainline Wingblade like at all. Anytime I went to go try and find one. Uh, they were difficult to find, and the uh, secondary prices on the Thrilling 30 and the Titans Return figure tend to be a little ridiculous, depending on who you're trying to get it from. Ran into this in, uh, I believe it was my local Target or Walmart, one of the two. And so, instead of paying over retail, I, uh, I you know, on a different version of, different version of the, the uh, character... I went ahead and just paid retail for this, and this does, you know, does the job pretty well. Obviously, the Warrior Class toys in the Cyberverse line are all saddled with a gimmick. Um, this one actually kind of is a bit obtrusive when it, or intrusive rather, when it comes to the robot mode, which we'll take a look at in a bit. But it doesn't really affect the uh, jet mode too much. Um, jet mode looks pretty decent. I, uh, you know stylized take on a VTOL jet which uh, for those who don't know what a VTOL jet is, vertical uh, landing and takeoff um, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see how it's going to work out over here on the underside but all in all, not too bad, pretty accurate to the uh, animation model in the show but uh, and we spent some time taking a look at our vehicle mode, let's go ahead and take a look at robot mode and here we have Wingblade in her robot mode she's gonna lean him back a little bit hopefully I can keep that from happening keeping her from falling back but yeah there she is in robot mode now the face does have a pretty good amount of detail here you know with the whole uh, kubuki warrior thing going on I definitely like that a lot she looks pretty good there um, the rest uh, Kind of sparse on paint details in the robot mode. Uh, kind of sparse paint details in general, but then again, it is in uh, Cyberverse Warrior class. Kind of what can we expect? Um, articulation, she's got, uh, you know, legs, knees, arms, elbows. Obviously, the arms can't go 360 because of uh, being hampered by the wing backpack here. Um and get her going around she does have the nose cone as a backpack it isn't too horrible i mean pretty typical for jet formers to kind of have some kibble hanging off um her gimmick is pretty hokey and if i can get it to go with one hand i'm trying to keep the camera straight for everybody i may not even do it okay well maybe i can but you basically press down on the nose cone yeah, see it's not gonna do it but basically you're gonna press down on the nose cone and the bottom fans here of the the wings spin around and uh yeah it's unimpressive i wish you would have came with some accessories but again i think the warrior class toys at retail are only going for like between 12 and 15 bucks i think i got this for like 13 or something like that i don't don't recall offhand because i've had her for a little bit now but yeah all in all bit meh Articulation is nice. Let's get a size comparison in here with the current deluxe. We've got uh, my generation's Earthrise exhaust. And, you know, she does scale nice. She is the right height, you know, as far as deluxes are concerned. So it works. And again, her hands are, in fact, molded to support accessories you know has that five millimeter clip there i believe it is uh so you can peg in 
weapons and accessories. And if I can find a spare sword laying around, I think I'll give her a sword because she definitely needs her sword. Um, let's get her over here a little bit. But all in all, I mean, not too bad. The colors do work. I mean, what paint apps are there? Are uh, they, they do work. I do like the color scheme a lot. You know, the uh, the sky blue definitely pops on the red. And the detail, like I said, is done pretty decently. You even got on her chest there uh, a little Autobot symbol. And the different tech lines of the blue when you get the gimmick to spin. Again, I can't do this one-handed. But, you know, I mean, all black, red, sky blue, and the kabuki style... Uh, face and headdress there all looks pretty good um again i got this figure because finding a mainline wing blade and it was a character i wanted uh finding a mainline wing blade was definitely uh a pain uh i could not find one for a decent price that i was willing to pay for a currentish figure and then when i came across this in the store i'm like man eh, well need a wing blade gonna get it all in all i'm yeah i'm all right with the purchase i mean would i suggest uh anybody getting this now there's other wing blades out there that you can uh go ahead and get your hands on i'm sure um and with the upcoming uh transformers line because we're in the midst of earth rise right now uh and the upcoming line for kingdom i know it's going to be very beast war centric but maybe we'll even see a wing blade pop up in there but um yeah, I wanted it because I didn't have a wing blade for the current line and wanted to get one. Um, would I suggest, like I said, would I suggest it? Probably not. I mean, it's, it, again, if you were in my situation where you didn't have a mainline wing blade and looking to get the character, then yeah, absolutely go ahead. Otherwise, uh, kind of an easy pass, at least for the uh, Cyberverse Warrior class toys. But yeah, I, I dig it. She's alright. She's alright. Get her a sword and might be a little cooler. But definitely, uh, she's definitely a wing blade and definitely a character I wanted in my collection, so I picked it up. But that is Transformers Cyberverse Warrior Class Wing Blade. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you did, send a subscribe my way. It would be greatly appreciated. I do want to say before I sign off that, uh, my next round of Transformer toy reviews, and I'll be teasing them on my uh, Twitter page and maybe even on my uh, stories here on uh, YouTube, because I know you can put uh, pictures up, but I'm going to be teasing. i got something pretty cool planned for my next round of Transformers reviews. So if y'all are, uh, are hanging around and checking them out, make sure you tune in soon because i got some cool stuff coming. But um, that is that. That is Wingblade signing off. If you liked it, like if you did, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully y'all stay safe. Hopefully y'all stay healthy. Wear your masks, wash your hands, and be kind to your fellow man. And I will see you in the next video.